Hello all my Buckeye friends out there. This is Buckeye Vinny coming to you with another Buckeye segment. Everybody, chill out, kick back, and enjoy this one. Before I start, I want to give a special shout out to one of my new subscribers. He just joined about a week ago, just subscribed to my channel, and his channel is called Not Michael. Not Michael uh, is the young man that suggested and it was a great idea on his part that I would do a video segment on building the perfect quarterback for Ohio State. And this is what I'm going to do tonight, without a doubt. For me, the perfect quarterback, when you think of, that went through the realms of Ohio State football, number one, would have to be quick and agile. Number two, for me, they would have to have a strong arm. They would have to be a good runner where when the pocket breaks down, they need to take off and be able to gain that yard or two that they need. And for the most part, they have to be tough. They have to be a type of quarterback when I just said they would have to be a good runner. Those type of quarterbacks get hit many times in a game. And let me tell you, when you're playing the Big Ten schedule like the Buckeyes do, which those our quarterbacks get punished from time to time, you have to be tough without a doubt. For me, I'm going to run by you three quarterbacks that were very, very similar in stature and in talent. Number one, I'm going to go with the 2006 Heisman Trophy winner, Troy Smith. You know, this young man was a phenomenal quarterback for us. He really was. He led us to the national championship. Uh, he had very good success beating the team up north. And again, I just have to throw Troy Smith out a shout out. Troy Smith is one of those quarterbacks that I just suggested. Tough, a very good runner, quick, a very strong arm, and a very accurate arm. After that, I'm going to have to go with Braxton Miller. Braxton Miller was the same, same way as Troy Smith. Now, so far, I named two quarterbacks very similar. Folks, you've got to remember, those two quarterbacks I just named, Troy Smith tops was about six foot one, and Braxton Miller tops was around 5'11", six foot. The third quarterback I'm going to mention is J.T. Barrett. J.T. Tops was no more than 6'1", 6'2". But again, he had the same attributes as the other two quarterbacks I named, Troy Smith and Braxton Miller. J.T. Barrett, a phenomenal runner, a very good arm, tough. We all remember how many times he would play with nagging knee injuries, but the man still fought and played hard. I'm going to name two quarterbacks that did not fit the typical, what I just mentioned, of being quick, agile, and a very good runner. And this doesn't take nothing away from these two quarterbacks. They just did not fit the scheme of being building the perfect quarterback for Ohio State. The first quarterback I'm going to mention was Cardell Jones. Cardell Jones, cannon of an arm. And we all remember him when they, he was a big reason why in 2014 that the Buckeyes went on to beat Oregon Ducks. Again, Cardell Jones, cannon of an arm, and he was pretty accurate, no doubt, and he could throw the long ball. But my friends, when it came to him having to get out of the pocket, no dice. He, this man was big. About six foot five, and let's be honest, you know I'm a straight shooter. He was not that uh, agile of a quarterback. Big and strong, I'll give him that. Cannon of an arm, but he was not your prototype Buckeye quarterback that would run a lot. And I'm going to throw on another one. Dwayne Haskins. Now, for, for me, I like Dwayne Haskins. Very accurate, major arm, and could throw the long ball. No doubt about it. But he was the same way. I remember in that 2018 season, Urban Meyer, they were trying to force Haskins a lot to 
how should I say, run the ball and, and, and run that prototype offense like they did with Braxton Miller, Troy Smith, and JT, they couldn't do it, folks. And, and again, it, it's no shot at Dwayne Haskins. It's no shot at Cardell Jones. They were just not the type of quarterbacks that you could use that type of offense to be successful. Were the Buckeyes successful? Yes, they were, but not for that specific type of offense. I hope everybody enjoyed this segment tonight on building the perfect quarterback. And again, for all my viewers that viewed this and subscribers, I want to thank you. For my new viewers that just checked me out for the first time, I please ask you to click on the subscribe button. If you like this video, please click on the like button. And like always, please comment. I love your feedback about my videos. Everybody knows that. So please share a comment for me. Like always, peace out. God bless. Stay safe. Take your vitamins. And most of all, go Buckeyes.